Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Short little announcement. We have a contest going on on Amazon. Basically, um, review our book. It is out on Amazon. I'll leave the links for it. And this Friday, we'll be picking three people that have reviewed our book, and we will be sending out the prizes. We have three great prizes. I'll leave a link to the video so you know exactly how to enter, but it's very simple. Just leave a review on Amazon on our book, um, and this Friday, we'll be picking three lucky winners we will let the contest go an additional week and next Friday we're going to pick another winner and this will be for this custom made rig. This is made by UW Gear. Uh, I've been using their gear for years. Um, high quality. It's sewn by them. Everything you see is actually cut, made, sewn uh, by two guys. So the quality is uh, very high. So leave a review and uh, in not this Friday, but next Friday, we'll just pick one lucky person and I will personally mail this off to you. Uh, excellent gear. The reason I'm making this video though, is I want to show you a product. And you've probably already seen that. You might say, this ain't, this ain't prepping. It's liquid dye. You can use it for clothing. You can use it for blankets, any type of cloth material. And I, I do think it's important for prepping. I get these blankets, and I have a friend that has an unlimited supply of these, can get as many as we need, and I'm talking hundreds. Uh, so it's a great resource. These ones are a little bit bigger, and, and these ones are smaller. What I've done is I've dyed these two here. I'm going to be using them in bug out bags. I'm going to be using some for people that don't have um, anything that's sort of camouflaged. You don't want to be carrying that in your bug out bag if you have to try to hide in the woods. Now those are great for inside the house, but I did a few. Um, this one package here is uh, less than three dollars, and that would include tax. Um, this one did these two blankets, and I'm also working on two more. I've used the remaining dye that was in the bucket, so these probably won't be as dark as the first two, but they're very acceptable. A lot better than just white. My wife went ahead and picked out some colors, uh, some girly colors. And this is important. We're going to dye some of these blankets in the pink and the light blue. The reason is you might have someone showing up at your house that's maybe a 10, 12 year old girl that's lost everything in their house and really don't have nothing. But if you can give maybe a pink blanket, maybe something a little bit girly, uh, it might lift their spirits. I know it's little, but we got to think of things for people for morale boosters. And, you know, giving them a white blanket or I have some army green wool blankets. Probably a 12 year old girl probably won't like that as much as if we give her a hot pink and something that will make her feel better. So that's why I've gone ahead and got some of these. I'm going to get a couple other girl colors uh, and I'm going to go ahead and dye them. I was very happy with how they, they you know, proceeded and turned out. Um, basically you can, and all the instructions are on the, the package, you can use your washing machine. I decided not to use the washing machine because I didn't want to make a big mess. Uh, and, and and have my wife uh, get on me about the mess. So using this bucket is a lot better than using her washing machine. Basically, I put three gallons of hot water in the bucket, um, dumped the dye in, I dumped one whole package in, one whole bottle, and then I used the two blankets and let them soak for an hour. I agitated it as much as possible. They would like you to agitate almost constantly. They just you need to get that color throughout that whole blanket. Then I rinsed them out a lot and washed them in the washing machine and they came out great. These two I threw back in the bucket. I don't think these are going to be as dark because most of the dye was absorbed by the other two, but they're going to turn out a lot better than just white. You might not have any camouflage clothing or say you're on vacation, say you're on a business trip and, and you don't have any camouflage clothing with you and something bad happens. Um, Walmart. This probably will not be the first thing that disappears off the shelf in Walmart. So go down to Walmart, get you some camouflage colors. Uh, if you're at a hotel room, you could probably take the sheets and dye those. You could probably take if you had, you know, some t white t-shirts or anything and, and give you a little advantage if you have to walk home and you think you might have to, uh, you know, camouflage yourself in the woods. So you might be in a position where you have no camouflage or you might be in a position where you've fled your house um, and you couldn't take camouflage because you don't want to be seen with camouflage. You don't want to have any attention drawn to yourself. But it comes a time where you might need to camouflage yourself. So by having a few bottles of this dye, you could definitely camouflage some clothes and, and make it so you can blend into the, uh, the woods. 
this is definitely not number one prepping item, but it's something to think about. Uh, if you got all your other bases covered, uh, this die could come in handy. Could be good for camouflage and things, and it also could be good for a morale boost for young kids to give them some color in their life. Thanks for watching.